So you've done all the heavy lifting, you've purchased some sites, or built them from scratch. You've optimized them and added massive value. Now you're almost ready to flip them over for massive profits. In this module, we will cover where and how exactly this process works. You will be guided to the process of selling your site for maximum profit. So let's roll on. Preparation is key. The more metrics or information that you can provide to buyers, the better. In some cases, you will be approached especially if you did a really great job, which will take some, some of the hassle out of the process for you. In other cases, you will have to act, actively seek to sell it, which can take a little more work, but more on that later. The key when being approached by someone to buy the website is that they will probably want to see some performance information about how well the site operates. If someone does not ask for this information, they probably are not truly interested in the site. First and foremost are the traffic statistics. This should include all sorts of traffic information such as unique visitors, where the visitors are coming from, how much traffic is directed to the site via search engines or bookmarks, what set of keywords performs well, and is popular for and page rank, which is Google's propriety algorithm for determining the relevance or value of your site. Getting page rank is worthwhile here. Quite simply, page rank, or Google PR, is the method by which Google calculates your site as it appears on search engine result pages. High ranks will obviously put closer to the top of the list, and lower rank sites will put you further down. The reason this works is because Google is in the business of feeding people who use its search engine high quality and relevant results. This is the core of their business model. By providing relevant and high quality links, they can advertise and make money. Their advertising sharing programs such as AdSense or AdWords are predicted on this approach. By giving you a cut of the proceeds, everyone wins in this situation. So the way to elevate page rank is not to only optimize the site via search engine optimization techniques, but to also include relevant and high quality links. The best content in the world is made better by backlinks to popular sites and are figured highly in the calculation. Assuming you didn't buy a site that had a monetization strategy already built in, by which, by nature, should be fully optimized, then PageRank is the goal you're working towards as you renovate the site and get it ready to flip. Providing financial information to a potential buyer is also a good idea. While this doesn't have to come in a formal statement such as a profit loss providing key metrics like bandwidth costs and how much advertising revenue generated is helpful. Obviously, the more information you can provide on this front, the better. Serious buyers will want to see how much domain hosting and bandwidth actually is versus the revenue from advertising monthly. Some kind of a sales letter which talks about the site introduces you, the seller, and the reasons why you want to sell the site and what it really has to offer can be helpful though, not necessary. You can take creative license with this or not provide it at all. In the business of quick flipping, this is a formality that is not often required or practiced as a majority of sales take place via auctions. Finally, and most importantly, how much are you going to sell the site for? As mentioned in the first module, a website is truly worth whatever a potential buyer is willing to fork over it. Websites by their nature are not really tangible properties like real estate, which adhere to extensive regulation, appraisal, and so on. You have the ability to spin the data in a lot of beneficial ways without being dishonest, so keep this in mind as you decide on the price. If your website is in a great niche with great keywords, that's worth something, right? How much? It is up to you. And ultimately, it's also up to how much the buyer is willing to spend to acquire that value. Maybe your whole niche has become so huge that you can actually contact the retailers because you've done so well and dump the site on them. That could happen, but it is rare. Selling to an established company in your niche that you may be working for is possible, but not likely. Buyers will most likely come in the form of either people doing the same thing as you, 
to some extent, or via auction in which case you will have the scant information about the buyer. That being said, you're most likely going to have to go outside the niche or industry you have established and find buyers elsewhere. When it comes to the online marketplace, there are a ton of sites that specialize in auctioning or negotiating the sale of sites. A few that you can try are SiteFlippa.com and Digital Point Forum. Buy my website, which is the forum. Also, there are broker sites like BusinessBroker.net, WebmastersMarketplace.com, BuySellWebsite.com, and plenty of others. These sites are good for creating interest in the potential sale. If you're able to enter into the site's auction, then hold on to your hats because the bidding may come fast and furious, and it will be automated, which can be difficult, especially if you have a set price point in mind, I mean part of your overall business strategy. It will take more work to get the price you want via an automated auction page, and you are also limited by the traffic through the auction site. That traffic may not contain the people or companies that are actively looking or interested in what you're selling. So, if you were able to use an auction, then you participated in the automated bidding and hopefully you got a price that you wanted. Again, it takes more work to move the site on as an auction, but let's say you approach you via a forum or some other site you frequent to and you are now about to enter negotiations. Having a fundamental understanding how to negotiate is critical. This is governed by factors like urgency and how well you can dictate the terms of the negotiation. One basic rule is when selling, never sell unless you have completely satisfied with the terms. So let's say the terms were agreed to and you are happy to. Great, so how do you finalize the sale? There are a few points to keep in mind as you make the transition towards flipping your website. Decide on when and how money ought to be transferred. This usually takes the form of a partial payment up front as a percentage followed by the remainder of the balance once the website is formally transferred. What form is a payment going to be in? Produce a contract that lists the dates and going price for the site and make sure everyone signs it. If you are able to flip a site for a vast sum of money, then it is probably in your best interest to retain a lawyer and ensure a smooth transfer without any liabilities. Now the easiest way to sell is via auction, which takes less work while offering less control, and potentially the wrong audience to see it resulting in no sale at all. There are some sites below the radar that offer such services for those especially interested in running web businesses. What's best for you is going to depend on the site, the niche, the contents, and how that figures in into your strategy. Keep in mind that using auctions is a good way to get a quick turnover on your flipping activities, but you will accept the fact that you will in all likelihood get terms that are slightly less disagreeable and potentially out of your control. This isn't a big issue to worry about, but it should be considered compared to direct selling to an interested party. Ultimately, after reading through these modules, you should have a better understanding of what it takes to survive online and how to craft your overall strategy and what sort of track tactics you'll be using to carry it out. There is a slight learning curve, but these modules should put you on the right footing to move closer to the goal of becoming a legitimate online entrepreneur and to finally realize financial independence while being completely in control of your destiny. Executing these deals and flipping online properties can be extraordinarily lucrative. And with these modules, you now have a good set of tools in your toolbox to make it happen. Happy site flipping.